Hi and welcome to this hands-on review of Ghosts in the Toy Box for Daydream VR. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider subscribing. Ghost in the Toy Box is new for Daydream VR and you can pick it up for $3.99 off the Daydream Play Store right now. So as always in these hands-on reviews I'm going to play one level and simply give you my very first impressions of the game based on that one level that I'm going to play. So normally I'm playing these games for around 10 minutes to have an idea and to give you an idea of the game. So we just got a little tutorial here. You have to click on the button and flick in order to shoot and you have to hold the button in order to charge. Okay, so definitely I'm going to try this out right away. I was quite excited about this one when I saw the trailer because it looked so high quality as opposed to quite a few new entries that have arrived on Daydream the last week that they were not so high quality but this one simply looked good and now I'm in this game for the first few seconds and yeah it does look good it does look good so we are throwing these kind of um, bottle caps at those monsters those toys are possessed by poltergeist as the intro says or as the description says which is quite fun and uh, well for the very 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 first impression it looks good so I'm I'm clicking um, on the touchpad and I'm flicking and I'm releasing in order to let that bottle cap go and it does work so now here are all these little toys or this little ghosts in these toys they look cute those toys do look cute and the animations are well done the dying animation is a bit late though, it has the feeling. It feels like you have already killed those toys and then like two seconds later or so, then only we'll see this this dying animation. Yeah, you see, like, just like that. And it is quite funny, it looks like those guys when they die, they, they, they have one last jump in them and then they will die and there's some kind of, the ghost is leaving them as you have defeated them and they all seem to look different which is nice so so the first impression on the um, on the quality of this game on the production values it's higher than lots of stuff that has graced the daydream play store in the recent weeks and okay the first wave is over i click to continue to move on to the next location and there is like a cube with a cross which means I just got a health item so I can play this a bit longer here. Yeah, it's, it feels a bit strange that, that this dying animation happens just a few seconds after I hit them. This should be a bit more spontaneous or direct I would rather say. Okay, let me talk now about this about this mechanic of shooting so I have to flick my wrist in order to shoot but I have to be very honest with you I don't think it works very well it feels a bit strange because well I'm flicking now from left to right just like a normal right-handed person would do so but when I release the thing the cap still flies off from the right side of me which feels very unnatural it's strange it's really strange I'm flicking from left to right but then once I release it it still flies off from the very right of me just as you can see right now it feels unnatural so it's still the same problem it's we don't have this positional tracking in daydream right so all these kind of mechanics that try to mimic very nice positional tracking like what we have now it simply doesn't work it's just like can you remember when you had these Wii games these Nintendo Wii games and we had those glorified button presses where some kind of motion just mimicked a button press and it was very frustrating yeah, I'm feeling like this exactly right now this this flicking motion is simply a glorified button press and it's not fun I just have to say it's not fun 
It's a bit sad because as you can tell the production values are there. It looks cute, it's fun. It's really really fun to, to see those those ghosts come at you. But the main thing here is this throwing of the caps. And uh, it just doesn't feel so right, unfortunately. This is not actually like a problem of the game developer. Probably he did everything right, it's just like this daydream motion controller does not get tracked in space and these kind of mechanics where they try to mimic a natural motion like throwing it just doesn't translate well it does just doesn't translate well enough so here's already the next section of the game and as you can tell there is variety here so production value is definitely there now we are here behind this machine gun grenade launcher kind of weapon and here instead of flicking in order to throw you would simply click in order to shoot or hold to charge and then shoot with greater force now that works much better than this kind of flicking and well i th i think the developers should think if they really want to have this kind of flicking motion and if you look back in the video you can see a little reticule and with your gaze you would kind of aim at the enemies I think it would be better if you would simply point with your daily motion controller at the enemies and then shoot it would be simpler and you wouldn't have this problem with this kind of fake motion alright I do think that I made this point very very clear the flicking does not work well dear developer rethink that the most satisfying shooting mechanism is still in Archer E. Bowman where you have this bow and arrow and you hold in order to put the arrow there and then you release in order to shoot and that works so well and it's so much more satisfying than anything that I can see here in this game until now. So the game is over and well my first impression very high production values looks cute looks good very well done but it's not satisfying because this flicking doesn't work well and it's a shame this could be great actually and I'm sure there's even much more to find out here in this game and I'll play this more definitely however if you would ask me Sebastian do you want to pay three dollars and 99 cents for this after this first 10 minutes my answer would be no again the reason the main thing about the shooting games is the shooting mechanism and that simply doesn't feel right so that's it for this first hands-on review of Ghost in the Toybox for Daydream VR. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Daydream this yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.